going out there, everybody. This is Jordan Jones on my playthrough of Mario Kart for the Nintendo Wii. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. And guess who they voted for? They voted for me to play as Donkey Kong. And they voted for me to use just the standard cart. And now we're going to do the banana cup and let me know down in the comments below what character and cart do you want me to use for the leaf cup? I would love to know in the comments below what character and cart do you want me to use for the leaf, for the leaf cup? The first track of the banana cup is N64 Sherbet Land. This track I have really bad memories with. This is a track I used to really hate it a while back. Even though I love snow levels so much, but this track can be kind of annoying. This track is kind of tedious, I didn't say this. Because you can, because it's very slippery, of course. This track can be really tedious. It's a track that, I, I'm kind of not too fond of this track, I, I do have to be honest. It's kind of one of my least favorite tracks in the game. Because it is kind of really tedious. I'm not saying this track's super difficult or anything. I'm just saying it's really, really tedious. And you can, and it is very, very slippery. And you can bump into some things easily. But I, I do have to say it's a decent track nonetheless nowadays, I do. Because the music's pretty and stuff. And it looks beautiful. It's just a tedious one to play. Because it's very, very slippery. I love how those, how, how there's retro cups. Alright, so, I'm doing pretty good on this track. We're getting good luck. Because this track I do have fails on sometimes. Not because it's difficult, just because it's really, really slippery. And that's why it's tedious to play. The Banana Cup is actually not even that difficult. It's just this track right here that can be difficult. Because the next three tracks are not even that bad. It's just this one. This is the main one that will get me every now and then. Now, they were throwing some items at me. See, like I told you, you can slip easily, and sometimes this track, you can slip very easily, and you can bump into walls very easily. That is what I don't like about this track, so that's why it's my least favorite of all the retro tracks. I like snow levels in general, because I, I, I love snow and ice levels, but this has to be probably one of my least favorite snow levels that there is. There's just nothing special about this track. This track is just kind of bland and boring. I mean, it's not difficult. It's not difficult by any means. It's just really, really tedious. It's just time consuming. Because it's really slippery. And you can slip on it easily. Other than, this is my least favorite ice level of all Mario games. It has to be this right here. Because... This has to be my least favorite snow level of the Mario games. We got first place! Excuse me. 
Now we're going to go on to the second race of this, which is actually a little bit easier than what we just did. Just taking a sip of my water because I'm doing. Just taking a sip of my drink because I'm a little thirsty from the previous track. Now we're going to do GBA Shy Guy Beach. This one has to be the easiest one in the banana cup. I do have to say this. This one's pretty easy. I do have to say that this one's pretty easy. Just watch out for the crabs here. Um, they're not too much of a pain in the rear. So, you just have to be careful around here. It's not really that difficult. This one's nowhere near as tedious as the previous track. The only thing that's tedious about this one is, or not, because you will have ships, water ships, which are boats that will throw bombs at you. And they're, but they're not hard to avoid or anything like that. This reminds me of one of the levels I used to play in Skylanders, back when I used to play Skylanders. Um, I mean, I never really liked Skylanders too much, because Skylanders, it was just... Skylanders wasn't that popular of a game, and it just wasn't that good of a game. It was so complicated, and I couldn't figure out what to do. I never even beaten Skylanders. I didn't remember how Skylanders was, that you had a portal of power, and you used the portal of power, and you had to put different characters on it. I do know a character in Skylanders I used to really like. I used to really like er Eruptor, and I used to really, I used to really like Trigger Happy, and I used to really like Eruptor, but, and I used to gave those Skylanders to somebody else, because, I used to do that for a yard sale because that's why I sold my Skylanders away. Just because Skylanders just uh, wasn't that good of a game. It wasn't really that great of a game. I mean, it wasn't a terrible game by any means. I just never really enjoyed Skylanders. But I did like Eruptor, and I did like Trigger Hat. Now I remember there being a dinosaur called Bash, and you also see something that's very similar to Bash in Super Mario Odyssey, which is that dinosaur in Super Mario Odyssey. You remember that when you watched my Super Mario Odyssey playthrough, when, when you saw that dinosaur? Just go back and watch that playthrough, and you'll find that dinosaur somewhere in my playthrough in Super Mario Odyssey. Just go back and watch that playthrough. Um, this is Delfino Square. This has to be... This is a track I really love. This has to be my favorite track of the Banana Cup. This one's another relatively easy track. Here is the uh, third track of the Banana Cup, and it is... Yes, Delfino Square. I love this track. It really reminds me of Super Mario Sunshine. And I love Super Mario Sunshine. You should go back and watch my Super Mario Sunshine playthrough. You should definitely watch that playthrough. Because that was my previous playthrough. You should go back and watch that. It was so much fun. Because Super Mario Sunshine is an amazing game. Like, it's hard to believe how much I adore Super Mario Sunshine. Like, that game is just so awesome. I love how there's so much to do in that game, like how you have, have Delfino Plaza and you have these shine sprites around it. And I love the story about Junior looking for a mama. I just think Super Mario Sunshine's a really amazing game. Not as good as the Galaxy games in my opinion, but I do I definitely think it's better than Super Mario 64. Because I love Flood so much in Super Sunshine. Delfino Square really reminds me of Delfino Plaza in Super Sunshine. 
Like it really does. Don't come near me. You're not supposed to do that. I'm trying to win. And I got even worse luck. Because they even wanted to keep throwing shells at me. Even worse luck now. Am I still going to get first place? Oh my gosh! We can still get first. Just come on, stay in first. Stay in first for the Stay in first place. Ah! Respond appropriately, Donkey Kong. Why am I messing up, poor boy? It's not me that's messing up. It's because those people, those players, are wanting to make it harder for me if I keep throwing items at me. And I'm trying my best to win. Because I want to get first place on every track without this playthrough. Because if we don't, that will be embarrassing. I struggled a little bit with this track because of those other... It wasn't even me. I'm glad I have three bananas now. As long as they don't give me no blue shell, we can pray and hope they... And they did! And they did! No! I'm really trying to get first place. need to get first. Come on, get us the first, get us the first, get us the first. Yes! I was like, if we don't get first place, it's going to be time to smash the Wii Remote. Because we need to get first on every single track. Because that's what I want to do in this playthrough. Alright, here is GCM Waluigi Stadium, which is the final track of the Banana Cup. Here we go. This is a pretty challenging track, I'm not going to lie. This one's pretty challenging, I'm not going to lie. This one can be a challenge. So we'll see how it is. This one has to be the hardest one in the day, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we're off to a horrible start. Not because of how good I'm doing. It's just because I'm actually doing good. It's just, it just, there's so much luck involved. This is a very luck-based game. Don't! You're doing it too much. I'm just getting bad luck today. I mean, I'm winning, but I'm just getting bad luck for people throwing lots of items, making me put a lot more pressure on myself to win. That's a random ailment they cannot control in this game, is what items that they're at you. And it's random or not, you really get by them. Like I said, this track has to be the hardest one in the banana cup for me. Definitely, this one's the most difficult one. Are you serious? This one's known for being really difficult. Thankfully, we have, some, we have a little bit of protection now. Banana in the banana cup. Are you? Why are you throwing stuff at me? I'm just gonna keep this Koopa shell as a protection, just in case if they throw another item. And I messed up because I accidentally hit the fire bar. I really don't like this track too much because it's. I love how epic the music is. I love the music of this track, I'm not gonna lie. It has really, really good music, actually. It's just. 
I love the music out of it. It's just... It sounds epic, but... The problem is... That it's difficult. I don't like how difficult this track is. And they're doing it a lot! I was like, that's gonna tick me off if they do that again. They're not allowed to do that again. Cause I'll get you if you do it again. Star running from the banana cup. What do we unlock? We unlock the leaf cup. Excuse me. What else do we unlock? We don't unlock anything else. Okay. I do know this. If you have Super Mario Galaxy 1, and it, which is the original Super Mario Galaxy, not 2, but not Galaxy 2, but the original Super Mario Galaxy, if you have that and you created a safe file on Super Mario Galaxy, you can actually use that to unlock Rosalina in Mario Kart Wii. Did you guys know that? Isn't that pretty cool or what? They can use another game to unlock a character in another? That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. That is weird, but it's pretty cool at the same time. Let me know down in the comments below what character and cart you want me to use for the Leaf Cup. Um, and thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like. And stay tuned for the next two parts, for the two final parts of this playthrough. Peace.